All right, we are in fact getting the Game & Watch here for Game 1. That was already really smart from Dill, just throwing out the banana and then hitting Kofi into the banana. This is something we saw earlier from him as well. He, like, you know, did grab release, tripping an opponent with the banana. So I'm wondering, uh, is this some new Dill tech that we can expect to see more of in the future? Well, for now, we are going to be uh, witnessing Kofi's Game & Watch here. Definitely down at the start. And Game & Watch, is, he's, it's very interesting. So he actually is, I've heard uh, SPT, who plays Game & Watch, refer to him as Secret Donkey Kong. Because his toot toot, although it is very hard to pull off, is devastating. It is just as terrifying as, you know, the DK Ding Dong or the Bowser Up Throw Up Air. Um, the one problem with him, though, is that Game & Watch doesn't like to survive. He does not get to abuse Rage that well. I feel like his entire kit is like based on abusing, you know, those the higher knockback he gets from Rage. But the fact that he is one of the lightest characters in this game does him no favors. So let's see how Kofi is able to survive to maybe hold on to some of that power. I told you! I told you it's good! There it is, the toot toot! <laughs> it's actually really good! <laughs> Oh, getting, uh, only going to punish him with a grab there, though. Which means that Kofi is at 124%. That's a whole heck of a lot of rage on this boy. He's just going to take more damage. He's yeah, going to wait until he he's at 150. Rage. Oh. He's not, it's not <laughs> like he's going to survive any longer just because he's... It's not really that, putting him at any more risk than he already is at. No, it, it is. Like, fair from mid-stage won't kill right now, will it? It could. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> man, let me see a nice down throw into side B. That's a 1 out of 9 chance of ending the match instantly. That is true. It also has a 1 out of 9 chance of losing him the match. Oh, that is totally true. Automatically. No, oh, that's going to kill? kill. That's going to kill. Oh, gonna he kill. survived. Okay, 160%. Remember how before I said that Game & Watch doesn't get to abuse Rage? Yeah, now he's going to totally be able to. Oh my, he's at 171. If this he's man is, he's going to die. He's literally made of paper. How is he surviving this long? <laughs> oh, that up smash was so scary. Oh, this might actually be it. Oh, he manages oh. to get through it. He's not dead. Oh my, how? Dill's like, I need to fix my, uh, my hairs and my headphones. In what world? I'm pretty sure that I think that grab at this percent. Well, getting knocked off stage at this percent is pretty scary. Also, going super deep. Not going to actually net him the stock, but already 99% on Dill. He's gonna grab Dill. There okay, it is. Yeah, that works too, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> I think even with Outrage, Up Smash might actually close off the stock here. Oh, definitely, yes. So, Dill <laughs> definitely has to be wary of that. Oh, and with Banana on the other side, I think like Banana is definitely one of the banes for uh, for Game & Watch. You know, he loves using that up smash. It makes his head intangible. Uh, it can be so hard to punish. But if uh, Dill does have a Banana in hand, it's kind of very easy, actually, to punish. I mean, just like that, like the situation's reversed. Uh, he is totally a kill percent now. I mean, they both are. We all are. That's it. That's it. Done? Wow. Look at Kofi's expression. Uh, He's really upset about that. He played so smart for the first half of that game. And then at the end there, he just wasn't able to... Yeah, here it is. The toot toot. Toot toot. No. <laughs> <laughs> he trips on the banana. The celebratory trip. Dill's almost at 100 when he friggin' killed Kofi. That's ridiculous. Boom. But yeah, you know, like, Rage is, uh, Rage is a huge factor in this game. And with a character like Diddy Kong, who has easy ways to kill. I died to up smash at 80 today. You don't have to tell me. Now we're moving into game two here. Oh, that was actually, so he tried to do that thing. Beefy Smash Dudes made a video on it recently where if Game & Watch destroys the banana with his down air, it's a, I don't think there's no lag, but it's a different amount of lag. It's a lot less than his normal landing Yeah, animation. and so I think that's probably what he was going for, but uh, Dill was actually ready for it. Still got a punish. But right now, actually, very even between these two, but that big forward smash actually going to, uh, 
widen this gap between them. And another one. Till is not messing around. He's getting the meaty hits right now. He's like, I'm not letting you live to 200 again. I don't know if Dill figured out the matchup or if his hair is just not tickling his ear anymore. And that was like a huge factor for him. But like something changed between the first and the second game where well, he's... I just want to say, this is what game one looked like. Don't forget that at this point, this is what game one looked like. Yeah, you know what? Rage might not be that much of a factor in a second. Oh, that was that would have been it for Dill. That would have been the kill if he had just held shields. Okay, I respect the attempt. So why is Game & Watch flashing blue? Uh, because he has rage. Was that really it? Okay. Oh, that almost did it. The fair, though, from mid-stage, not going to kill just yet. But that back air, reading the air dodge whale. Here's my question. Why is Kofi not playing white Game & Watch? That's a good question. Like, actually, like, I, I understand the idea of, like, you know, your own personal, like, oh, my tier lists for, char ca co like, character color. White Game & Watch is actually objectively better than the others because you can't see when he air dodges. No, I'm not even kidding. Like, when he has rage and he's flashing, yeah, I... I wasn't sure if you had a point, but all right, that makes sense. <laughs> no, that was my point. My point... Oh, there it is, actually, the 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Really nice there. It's so hard to actually land that consistently, but... You know, it is actually a real, uh, it's a real threat. Don't ever sleep on a Game & Watch with Rage. And I'm Smash combos at low percents. Fun fact. He actually technically at low percents is his best combo starter. Right now, Kofi actually has a lead here. And that's a pretty nice lead at that. Just going for these safe jabs, just getting more and more damage on Dill. I know that up air is a little bit stale, but I will see right now whether that'll be the kill. He reads the air dodge instead, getting that game. That was actually fantastic work from Kofi. He doesn't need the toot toot. The fear of the toot toot alone is enough. You see, you see, he say that, but he's gotten two kills off toot toot, so. Ah, oh, it's so bad. I love it. No, I'm pretty sure the, the second 2-2 two -two was a mix-up. Was it really? The, I'm Maybe, pretty sure he was out of the range of it being true. Maybe. It was the, the first kill for that game. Anyway, we're moving on to game three here. Kofi, going to... Uh, we have Dill counterpicking to FD. This is definitely the matchup that... The, the stage that you would expect to see. FD, uh, you know, Banana becomes so much harder to deal with when you have no platforms or anywhere to retreat to. Ooh, but really nice use of super armor. Smash. Yeah, it's technically trample, not super armor. There's okay, if you say what? so. No, there's a difference. I'm just pretty sure the head has super armor. What? No, the head doesn't have super, super armor. He would take percent. He doesn't take percent. He says head is intangible. It's like okay. You said, I think he said trample. That's what I. Well, it's it's trample effect. But no, it's like <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's important to let the people know. I guess so. Little Mac is the only character in this game with super armor on his smash attacks. Didn't Bowser have super armor in Brawl? Anyway, let's talk about this game. Yeah. Because this is actually a very exciting set right now. 75% on Dill. Kofi, he made the trip out here from Long Island, and it seems like it was definitely worth it to him. Because right now he has this lead on Dill. No, a lead doesn't matter much. We've seen just how much rage is a devastating factor for everyone in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, so. Down to top smash can totally kill right now. Really? And it did. I, I, was, I feel like he could have DI'd that. He could have charged. Dill could have charged a little bit. But, yeah. All the right. poor DI definitely was a factor there. And now we have Kofi without the rage. Oh, he was looking for single hit up air into up smash, which I believe is a true combo. That's crazy. All right. I mean, it's super unsafe. I mean, oh, like, I'm sure. How the heck is he? he hit his feet. He got him! The down smash! Right now, Kofi is... This is the last stock situation in game three between these two. All right, good jabs. Going to do 11%. Takes Banana out of the picture as well and gets another jab for his troubles. All right, now we have Banana in hand, but just throws it to get a little bit of damage onto uh, Dill. Honestly, Dill seems to be playing pretty scared. We're seeing a lot of rollbacks. He's like, not 
it, it's like hard to describe. It's like he's okay. Finally, he finds an opening, but only gets a little bit of damage. Until finally, like kind of establishing control of the pace of the matchup after being on the receiving end for like almost a minute. At the same time, that we have to remember, we have, we know the respective kill percents that these uh, characters have. We saw that game one, don't forget, Kofi lived to like 160, and he has those really strong hits. And none of them really in danger of dying yet. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, wow, that just tossing that banana back and forth. Right now, Dill still has a lead, but it's not really as much as I think he'd like. Especially considering how Yo, Kofi dangerous. with the movement. That's terrifying. And he finally gets that dash attack off the uh, banana there. <gasps> he gets this the grab. One. That's huge. But he ends up mashing out of it. But I'm, I think that a grab... Okay, I think he's outside of the true percent for it. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But right now, with banana in hand... Yeah. Kofi gets it again. <gasps> oh, that's huge. This this might be it. He gets it. it. And that's it. Kofi takes the set over Dill. Wow, Jesus really good stuff to Kofi. Christ. What does loser's bracket look like right now? Uh, terrifying. Are Dylan and John going to have to play for like oh, 17 Oh, John's plays? out. He lost to Roxas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this man with the pop-off, I was not ready for that. Was that get-up attack? I think that was get-up attack. Or not get-up attack, let's attack. Let's see, was that a ledge attack? I think I saw him swing his monkey butt around. Yeah, that was get up. That was definitely a ledge attack. No wonder why. No wonder why he died. But dude, Jesus Christ.